Hi, this is a model of a gravitational pendulum, a rigid pendulum in gravitational field. You can see it's a dynamic model. All the calculations are done in these uh, four columns. There's a Cartesian conversion here from polar coordinates into Cartesian. There are several parameters you can adjust. There's the, the length of a pendulum, r, as a radius. Uh, the mass of the pendula pendulum, the initial angle, as measured from the horizontal to the right, from the x-axis, this is the angle. The initial speed, the initial speed is a tangential speed and is measured in the counterclockwise counter direction. This is the damping of the pendulum. You can make it positive or negative. You can get to quite very high numbers. If you see the range, you can type numbers manually. The trail length, you will see this uh, weight here at the end of the pendulum. Leaves a historical trail, you can adjust the length. And this is the time step. You can put it anything. Um, if you put it too large, the simulation might not converge, but you will have a much faster model. If you keep the simulation within convergence limit limits, you can adjust the speed of the model. Of course, the precision will go down as you increase the time step. This is a start pause button. Let's start it. You can see the potential and kinetic energy here plotted. The energy goes from potential, kinetic, and back every cycle. You can see the instantaneous values of the potential and kinetic energy and total energy too. And the simulation time here is plotted. Here if we look, this is the angular acceleration, angular speed, and angle, angular value, angular coordinate of the pendulum. This is uh, all uh, done as a table, you know, static table. So the simulation is just a marker which runs an index and the index is used in an offset to select values from this table and plot and create a plot of the pendulum. Let's uh, reset it. Say reduce the angle to maybe 45 degrees. The damping, make it negative. Let's say minus 0 0.1. Now the, the pendulum will accelerate since some energy will be injected into the system every during every period. Let's start it. See? Getting faster and faster and faster. Let's, let's increase this. We can also stop it. So let's say manually increase this to a value of 2, or actually a value of 3, um, and start. You see, it dies immediately. A lot of energy is absorbed during each period. So you cannot do more than one period. Stop it. You can download this model from excelunusual.com. You can model many other models, many tutorials, explains you how to do it. You can apply this using other languages if you want. You don't need to use Excel. Excel is very easy. Very, um, you don't need to know programming. And it's very good to learn. The older versions of Excel, 2003, 2000, 2091, 97, 99, are also even faster if you have them. I use 2003 is the oldest I, 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 I find. Um, and actually the speed doesn't decrease so much if you go down in time. Uh, whereas 2003 has a lot of, uh, has better graphic capability than the, the older ones, has better features. Thank you for your attention.